now with Dr. Jen talking about a new study that's taking a look at how falling asleep after in-flight alcohol intake may increase your heart rate and drop the body's oxygen levels in healthy adults. So this was a small study done in German aerospace controlled lab setting, but it really speaks to the fact so many people get on a plane, they might be nervous, they might be starting a vacation, they might be stressed, they want to relax. They serve those in-flight alcoholic beverages. What happens to you physiologically when you're in a pressurized cabin at altitude? Not so good. So what they basically found is a desaturation of oxygen levels. So a dropping oxygen saturation, saturation percentage in people who have had alcohol and then fall asleep. Their heart rate goes up, their blood pressure can go up, their O2 sat oxygen level in their blood goes down. That's not what you want. You can basically think of it as a little mini stress test. And so for people who are at risk of heart attack, not good. But for any of us, we don't want our oxygen saturation no. hovering in the 80s. That's not good really for anyone. So maybe rethink that drink on the plane. And you were saying this is a lot of the times when you're on a plane and they ask for a doctor, they, you find people have been drinking. A lot of times, yes. That has happened to me personally. A lot of in-flight emergencies where people will pass out or they'll faint, they're dehydrated, they're stressed, they might be intoxicated. Just not a good idea. Remember, even though we, we fly sometimes for fun, sometimes for work, the, that's a pressurized cabin setting. A lot of people are stressed. You don't want to throw alcohol into that mix. Not a good idea. The doctor has spoken. Yeah. Wait, right. wait till you get to the fun place. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much.